What's going on guys, Steel City Sniper back with another video. I'm back to my original name. I decided just to, you know, I didn't feel right with the other name. It just didn't feel like my channel anymore. Um, so we're kind of back to Steel City Sniper. It's my gamer tag on PlayStation. And it's kind of the name that I really did build this channel around. Um, so yeah, we're back on it today and going forward, obviously. Today's video, I want to talk about one of the most underrated games that we can play, um, and that is the finals. It is obviously a free-to-play game. It's been out for over a year now. And just recently this week, I decided to get a couple of my buddies together and uh, hop on this game and give it a go. And I'm having a lot of fun. It's There's just something about the pace of the game. Um how quick you can get through some of these matches like i mean this one here we were doing world tour so these are a little bit longer if you qualify but um the normal matches they're they're pretty fast there's always action going on no one's ever camping uh and it's i'm having a lot of fun with it uh so i think in this video i want to focus on just talking about this game and if maybe you know i might post more content on it uh, this game in the background, this gameplay, isn't anything crazy. It was just one one of our rounds of the world tour. Uh, we ended up qualifying with like 30,000 plus points. Um, but yeah, our team did pretty good. Um, I like the 3v3 aspect of it. I like that it's just three players on one team, three players on a team, and three players on another team, and that's it. And you're competing for the same cash, the same cash held spots. Like, it's just, it's just fun. It's super fast-paced. Everything's destructible. Uh, it just makes for a really fun time. So, uh, in general, like I said, I enjoy games like this. I enjoy fast-paced shoot FPS shooters. Uh, they're technically the the genre that I uh, I kind of am good at. So, like obviously, a game like X Defiant, you know, it's a fast-paced arcade shooter. I've been pretty good at that game. Call of Duty in the past, compared to games like Siege, where I'm not awful in Siege, but the game is so much more slower and a lot more on your angles and everything. Whereas this is like, you're flying all over the place. Like you got to get on one floor to another floor to taking out all kinds of different things. I mean, it's, it's a fun game. So in general, I think I just want to give attention to this game. Uh, anyone that hasn't tried it out yet or anyone that has played in the past that might just need that video to get them back into it. Uh, just watch and see and remind yourself how fun the game is because like I said I'm coming into this fresh so maybe you know some people that have played this game for hours upon hours upon hours might not feel the same way as me but again I think it's it's something on the market right now where some people are waiting for Call of Duty to come out some people are you know just tired of the current FPS games they're playing so give it give it a try it's not Battle Royale it's not anything like that. It's just a simple shooter game where you spawn, you get a couple kills if you can, play the objective. If you die, you get to spawn back in. It's just a little bit more, I guess, uh, complex in Call of Duty or X Defined. Um, I know a lot of people are also talking about the game that's, I think it's called Off the Grid that just came out. It's like an extraction battle royale. I've tr I tried it a little bit, but right now on PlayStation, it's running really bad. Uh, you can't even get, I think it's, it was just hitting 60 FPS the last time I tried playing, but uh, that was with me set on 120 FPS, so you can't even get 120 on console right now. The controls kind of feel really, really wonky. It's not like a smooth sensitivity game, so... I might give it a go again once it gets some updates. Again, it did just come out. Uh, but until then, I'm not really going to be messing with it. And that's why I figured, you know what? I was scrolling through some of the free play or free play games on, on PlayStation and the finals popped up. And I'm like, I played this like, I think maybe, I don't know, an hour tops when it first came out. And then never touched it again. No one that I played with wanted to play it. So I was like, eh, I ain't going to mess with it. But like I said, just this week, I downloaded it, asked a couple of my buddies. I'm like, hey, would you want to try it out just to see, see if it's even worth it? 
and uh the first matches they hopped on they had a lot of fun with it and since then we've been playing it so yeah i think i think it's a something different uh it has that that battle royale feel because like i said that the action really does feel like some of those encounters on warzone uh where you got to be you know getting your movement getting out of places finding those tight corners to get through uh, I, it's a it's a fun game i uh, like i said i think it's one of those things where it's not super competitive e- either it's it's pretty chill um i'm not playing any of like the ranked crazy rank stuff uh i've played some really good people in the game so far so i will i will admit that um but yeah, I mean, either even when we play those people, we're still enjoying the game. I mean, you can see me in this gameplay. I'm still like messing around with some of the stuff, learning some of the abilities that each class has. Uh, I definitely think I can't decide between the the medium or or uh, light class. I think I like the light class mainly because of just the movement. Uh, right now, I have the grappling hook on, and that thing combined with the speed. And the SMG of this class is really, really fun. But the medium class, if if you're locked in with that AK and you get the right, like, I guess, abilities, like the launch pad, uh, I don't know, like frag grenade, uh, defibrillator, like whatever it is that you want to rock, like the medium class is fun to use. Also more health too. But right now this MP5 was like my go-to gun i just unlocked it before uh going into this match and i had a lot of fun with it in this game i mean you'll see a couple nothing too crazy here but it picks up a little bit after these after this capture zone where i start to like take out like more people like yeah it's it's a good gun and like i said i'm i've always been an smg fan uh, on x to find i'm always rocking like the mp7 the p90 the mp5 on there so, yeah, definitely an SMG player, but I do love the AR every now and then, especially when my aim's actually, like, on point. Um, other than that, like I said, I don't have really much to talk about. I know I haven't been consistent on the channel. I say it all the time. Um, and like I said, I, I'll, I'm not going to make the promise that I'm going to post more, but I hope that I can get more some more stuff out. NHL 25 has been a blast so far this year. We've been having a lot of fun on it, so I, I'm going to have to start saving some gameplays up for that, post those for you guys. I obviously want to make my best builds video again at some point, but that's still a work in progress right now. I think I have two more classes i got to come up with and test out, so I'm currently working on those, and then that video will be out. But yeah, if you guys want to see some of the finals, even just some short little games, you know, some of these matches are only 15 minutes. If you guys want to see some raw gameplay, just 15 minute gameplay, I'm, I'll post that for you guys. I know I've seen a lot of people that watch like Siege stuff. They get mad when content creators actually cut the video down and request like, can we just get some raw gameplay? So if that's the case, if you guys want to see some raw gameplay of this game, like I'm doing right now, um, I'm all for that. You know, it makes for, obviously it makes for a longer video. But it also just lets you guys see how the whole game takes place. I'm not just highlighting the certain kills I get. You guys can see how I'm dying uh, and stuff like that. But yeah, I definitely going to be playing this game a decent amount. I did grab the battle pass on it already. So yeah, I'll definitely be trying to grind that out and get that completed. Along obviously with uh, NHL as well. But yeah, definitely check the game out if you guys haven't played it yet. Again, I'm not... It's weird saying this because it's not a new game. It's been out for <laughs> it's been out for a year. But yeah, right here. So we kill that first guy. And then I just missed those shots there. Take out that guy. And then just see this guy out of my corner of my eye. Take him out. And that was a whole uh, uh, team wipe right there. So we took out that whole orange team myself. Which was pretty cool with MP5 again. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Like the rest of this gameplay, I think I get maybe one more kill. We were just focused on locking down this last uh, cash out zone with a minute left in the game. We were already at, what, 39,000? 
Like the only team we had to worry about was purple at that point, passing us in pink. So, yeah. Um, I'll definitely try to get some more gameplay saved of this game and post it out and see how it does on the channel. Because, again, I don't know how popular a game is. I don't know if people are actually, you know, interested in watching this game right now. It's kind of out of its prime, if it even had a prime. Um, but I know that this current season that just came out, some people were talking, like, really good stuff about it. And, I mean, for myself personally, I played, like I said, I played one of the early seasons. I don't really notice a lot of difference. But... Maybe that's just me. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this little rant and this little gameplay. Uh, yeah, until next time, guys. I'll see you guys later.